front end, it supports a lot of different data sources, as we can see here in the data tab. Right now, we mostly work with this XY simple set, and let's see what two sets are. What we see now is that we have two sets, and we want to have the first one to be lines, the second one to be bars. Go to testing, show plot in your window, and here it is. Nice. More sophisticated data is available under these uh, queries. There's big data in the background, which can be queried by queries. So we run this query, we get the information about this, and we say, we want to see this as lines, testing, business as usual. Another kind of data is freshly prepared data. So let's start with a simple noise generator which gives us a base value, a noise factor, and the number of points that we want to have in this data set. Let's start with the easy way. Business as usual, we take lines, go to testing, click on here. This it is. Okay, let's go back to data. Uh, we have to click here because the sheet sometimes doesn't know that it's not working anymore and blocks other things. So, we click on number of points now for 200, calculate the data, go to lines, testing, oh, we have a lot of data now, show plot a new window and 200. Okay, this should be noise. Hmm. Usually, what we would do now is to see whether we really have noise. We save this one, set this to zero. Go to testing. Oh, here it is. And yes, looks much more like noise. Another option we have is a PID loop. This is something that everybody knows about controllers, <coughs> where you have a set value. And there is a controller in the background trying to create a curve to reach this set point. So this is an easy one, an easy thing how a car would look like. So in this case we say that this one is the set point. As we can see here it changes from 0 to 300. So set point. The next one is the output of the PID control and there's another one which is the process. And let's go to testing. We remove this one now because we don't need this anymore. Draw plot in new window and here it is. Okay, let's go to snippets now, because the PID loop, not the whole loop, is interesting most of the time. The first part usually is the most interesting thing. So we add a snippet for zooming, go to testing, show plot a new window, and we have an additional window here, where we can do the zooming of the chart. Okay, that's it for now. This was the data.